One of the limitations of microcontroller AT89S52 is no built-in analog to digital converter. In this video, analog to digital converter ADC0808 is interfaced with AT89S52 to enable up to 8 analog inputs. ADC0808 is an 8-bit analog to digital converter which can handle up to 8 analog inputs multiplexed by the address logic value on pins address A, B and C. So a 3-bit binary value here will determine which input is processed from input 0 all the way to input 7. The converter can easily be interfaced to microprocessors and microcontrollers so we interface the output digital lines from the most significant bit to the least significant bit with the controller and we also interface some control lines such as the start of conversion, end of conversion, output enable, uh, the address lines ABC and the address line enable they are all interfaced with the microprocessor or microcontroller the converter uses successive approximation to convert from analog to digital with a conversion time of 100 microsecond. Conversion is timed by using an external clock running at 550 kilohertz, which is fed through this pin here. The clock signal can either be generated using an external circuit or it can be generated from the microcontroller. A block diagram of the implemented system is shown here the clock signal is generated using this triple five timer running in a stable mode that gives us a rectangular waveform at 550 kilohertz and we have one analog input fed through this pot into analog uh, input zero which means that the address lines a b and c they have been grounded so that this line is selected and we have the digital output is fed it or interfaced with the AT89S52 microcontroller through port 3 and we have the control line start of conversion end of conversion output enable and the address address line enable they have been interfaced with uh, pins of port 1 and we have the digital output displayed on 8 LEDs from the least significant bit to the most significant bit via port 2 of the controller and this is a circuit diagram of the implemented system as you can see the clock signals generating using this triple five timer circuit uh, to give us this 550 kilohertz uh, clock signal and the address lines ABC they have been grounded so that we enable uh, analog input zero and the analog input is fed through this uh, 1k pot the digital output from the least significant bit to the most significant bit is interfaced with port 3 of the controller and the control lines are connected to port 1 and the output digital value is displayed on these uh, 8 LEDs from the most significant bit to the least significant bit through port 2 of the controller. And now for a quick demonstration we increase the input voltage through the potentiometer and note how the 8-bit digital output increases and also decreases as the voltage decreases. A quick look at the C code used in the project. We assign the handshake signals of the ATD converter to port 1 of the microcontroller. Within the main function, we set port 2 for output and port 3 for input. And we set the end of conversion pin as an input pin. And then we initialize to 0 the start pulse, the address line enable pulse, and the output enable pulse as per requirements of the timing diagram. Inside this indefinite while loop, the first thing we do is to set the address line enable pulse to logic 1 as per the requirements of the timing diagram. And then we set the start pulse to 1 to initiate the start of conversion. And then we pull the pulses to logic 0 and check the status of the end of conversion signal coming from the 
uh, ATD converter. So initially the end of conversion signal is at logic 1, so we wait for this uh, period to be covered. And then the end of conversion becomes 0, so we wait till this period is covered. And the end of this period means that the conversion is completed, so now we can enable the output enable so that the data is now available at uh, port 2 which we can then send to port 3 and finally we disable the output enable uh, signal so that the output is at try state the final step is to generate the hexacode from the C code by using the KL IDE and then we upload the hexacode onto the microcontroller using a CMD program. Please watch my previous video where all of this was explained in more detail. In conclusion, interfacing ADC0808 with AT89S52 enables the microcontroller to process up to eight analog signal sources.